Hello, it is Wednesdays with JC Poo. You know, last time I said that I was, you know, a bit eh about making a video. I feel like that again, I don't know why. Um, so this week's topic is representation in the media slash really orange is the new black. So I thought that this is an interesting topic, although I do feel like I have talked about this several times because in our role models video, I talked about how I think that Laverne Cox being a role model for the trans community is absolutely amazing, and I still think that. So there was a comment on the video that said like, oh, you can't choose your role models or something, and I definitely think that you can choose who you model yourself after. <laughs> and, um, you know, even though Laverne Cox is like a you know, trans woman, first of all, and she's like a trans woman of color. So two of those things that I am not, um, you still have to think that she is still trans, right? And I'm trans and we have this like trans connection. And for some reason, I do really, really look up to her because I think it's amazing what she's been able to accomplish in the last two years, right? She was nominated for an Emmy, I believe, which is like the first time a trans woman that we know of has been nominated for an Emmy, you know, an out trans woman, which I think, come on. Other than that, I do think that Orange is the New Black is a dope show. I really do enjoy it. And I think the portrayals of trans people is actually amazing and I think that because there's actually a trans person that's working on the set with them and who's actually playing a trans woman. Do you know what I mean? Like there's a lot of v movies and TVs and TV shows and stuff like that that really aren't, you know, they say they're inclusive of trans people and then they don't hire trans people to help them develop the script and the person and so on. And for example, Degrassi. Now I know that they did a lot of research on the trans character and they watched videos and so on and they had some trans people around to coach them, but the character, you know, the character that played Adam, I believe, was not trans. She was a cis woman. And there's nothing wrong with that, but when you think about the transition, the person always is going to be seen as female because it's played by a female actress who can't transition physically in real life, which would be cool if they, you know, made a non binary character that just wanted to not go on T but wanted to, you know, socially transition, that would have been awesome, but they didn't do that, and that kind of sucks. But other than that, I mean, I think that, I think that we're finally getting somewhere, and I didn't feel like that in the first season of Orange is the New Black, I was like, oh wow, I mean, I did a little bit, I was like, oh wow, okay, well, this is great, you know, a trans person playing a trans character, and it was really great, but now that she's been nominated for an Emmy, and she's been part of all of these different shows, and, oh, man, it just, makes me want to cry sometimes. Like sometimes I go through my Tumblr feed and I see all the things that she's done and it's just like, wow, we're getting somewhere, <laughs> which is great. And when I say we, I mean like United States and Canada, because we are literally like the, almost the same place. Um, nah, the only trans person, like I said, that I know of in TV that's not trans though, it was in Canada and that's Degrassi. And, that sentence didn't make sense, I'm sorry. But you know, I think that we're getting there. Um, I made a video on my channel about two TV shows that are coming out that are all by trans people and for trans people, and the actors are all trans that I know of. Um, Brothers, and I think that that project is really cool. They have a couple, it's like a web series online. You can go check it out. I made a video, so you can check it out there. And the other one is The Switch, and that one's like a comedic kind of, it's funny. It's like with trans women and trans guys. So I think you guys should check those out online because they're really cool. So that's it. Sorry my videos have been like really weird lately. I've, I haven't really been feeling the internet. Um, just took off my pants for, for a bit of time now. Um, I feel like I need to like cleanse myself and step away from the internet. I'm still gonna make fantastic videos and videos on my channel, but still, you know, I haven't made up my mind yet, but I slowly stopped using Snapchat with people that I don't really know and kind of deleted a lot of people that I had no idea who they were, so I'm sorry if you've been deleted. Just need a cleanse. And um, I, I don't think I can delete people off of my Facebook because that would be over a thousand people, but um, I'm reducing my Tumblr answering. Now I have a new Tumblr for just answers themselves. Um, which I'll get to when I have the time just because I can't deal with the um, like I, I got I get a lot of messages of people demanding that I answer questions and that really like I can't deal with that anymore So that's it. Anyways inclusive TV. Maybe one day. I'll be on TV <laughs> Maybe my videos. <laughs> Jesus stop. It's really hot. Right, you like my hair? Okay. Have a great week